Okay, so while the pressure cooker is going, uh, I've got it set for 25 minutes. It's preheating right now. I am going to get the air fryer out to cook my bacon. And I'm also going to chop up my green onions and cube some cream cheese. So I will be back. I got this bacon from Fresh Time and it is absolutely perfect. I like fattier cuts of bacon and this is gorgeous. So I'm going to cut some of this up and put it in the air fryer. Okay, so I've got the bacon in there. Uh, I did it. I laid it in there that way just so that I could get more in there. So there's three slices. I cut them each in half. So I am setting it for whatever those numbers mean in between the dot and the 400. I'm trying to get about 375. I set it for 15 minutes. So I'll just keep checking it. And I'll be back. All right. I only ended up doing 10 minutes on the bacon and that is perfect just the way it is. It smells yummy. And I've got my green onions chopped up. Just a rough cube on the uh, on the cream cheese. I used two of them. And then I've got that uh, ranch seasoning. And 19 minutes left on the pressure cooker. And it smells so good in here. Oh my gosh. Alrighty, I'll be back. Okay, here is my cracked chicken all done. I tasted it and oh my goodness, I'm going to have to make this again. So you could serve this over riced cauliflower or, uh, you know, some steamed vegetables or shirataki noodles, uh, whatever. Uh, but I think I'm just going to eat it as is. I really like it this way. So, alrighty. That's it. I'll be back. Alright, so uh, I'm not having the uh, cracked chicken for dinner. That's going to, I'm just going to have that for lunch. But for my dinner, I am having my Portofino yellowfin tuna. So this is just how I normally fix it. Hopefully it doesn't make any gross noises coming out of the can. And of course the dog is right here next to me because I gotta clean the tuna out. Sorry. <laughs> Alright. And then I I'm only gonna do half of an avocado. This time, hopefully, it's good. Yay! So I'm going to save the other half. I put it in these uh, handy-dandy little containers. I think my dad got these. My mom or someone ordered them from Publishers Clearinghouse. Or maybe even one of them catalogs, you know, like Harriet Carter or Walter Drake. I'm going to put a little bit of lemon juice in there just to keep it fresh. Add some water to it. <clears throat> just to make sure it's not gross when I finally get to it, which will probably be tomorrow. Okay, so... I'm going to just do this small half. I don't have a handy dandy avocado slicer, so <laughs> I just do it this way. Okay. Put a little bit of lemon juice in here. I'm not going to stir it now because I don't want to hear any gross noises on the camera. <laughs> Nasty. Alright. Green onion. I 
I love green onions. Mm -mm -mm. Love the smell of them. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then put some of this cheese on here that I shredded in the new handy dandy cheese shredder yesterday. So much nicer than having all those nasty potato starches and whatever kind of other starches they use in it to keep it from not sticking. I like it better this way. All right, so this is going to be my dinner. And I will check back in later. All right, so I am closing this day out. Uh, since you've seen my lunch and my dinner, uh, I really don't have anything else going on for today. Um, I will say that because I used chicken breast in the... Uh, the cracked chicken, uh, I felt it was a little dry. I mean, it still tastes good. And also, I was following one recipe, but kind of incorporating someone else's take on it. I saw a couple of videos where people put two blocks of cream cheese in. I won't do that again. And I think next time I decide to have some, like, out of what I just made, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, chicken broth just to soup it up a bit. So it's not so dry and dense. Uh, <clears throat> but otherwise, it's really good. And next time I make it, I'm going to use uh, regular herbs and just, you know, do it myself rather than using the ranch packet. Because I really didn't want to do that. Um, because I know there's weird things in it. So anyway, that's going to do it for today. I am getting ready to go back upstairs and make my, my drink and bring the trash can up. And I guess that's it. So if you could give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you tomorrow, maybe. <laughs>